Hello everyone. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, Home is Where Our Heart Is. I am Dan. And I'm Steli. And today we're going to show you how to make some Daisy Bump Salt. This Bump Salt is amazing guys, so it's coconut based, infused with lavender and daisies. Yes, because daisy is related to arnica and it can be used in the very same way as our own native arnica. You can rub it on bruises and reduce pain and swelling with this bump salt. So collect some daisies, come with us and we'll show you how to make it. The ingredients you will need, a bowl of some fresh daisies, Bellis Perennis, some coconut oil, some jars, and optional, some lavender. Now, we're making a salve today because you might remember that we made a daisy bump balm. Well, today we're making a salve because a bump balm takes three weeks to make and we can make a salve in one day and it works just the same. So how do we get our lovely daisies and our lovely lavender to infuse with our coconut oil? We're gonna make ourselves a little bain marie. Now bain marie is just a posh way of saying a pan with lots of water, boiling water, and then something to sit on top of that boiling water. So we're gonna heat up our oil inside here. And that's gonna stop us from burning our lovely lavender and our daisies. So boil a kettle, just a quicker that way. And then add the hot water into your pan. And you want to remember that the thing you're submerging is okay for boiling water. So we're using a Pyrex dish, or you can use one of those glass bowls, cooking bowls, mixing bowls, or even just a smaller saucepan works quite well. Pop your hob on to a medium heat and bring your water to a light simmer. Add roughly one cup of coconut oil. Now, you want to lightly bruise your daisies so we can really get all the goodness out when we infuse it with this oil. And they can do that by just giving them a little squish or you can put them in one of these caveman contraptions. Just give them a little squish like that. Lovely job. Now, get them all submerged. <sighs> lavender, who doesn't like the smell of lavender? This is an optional extra for this salve. We're just gonna crush up some lovely lavender in our pestle and mortar. If you don't have one of these, you can literally just rub it in between your fingers, give it a little crush and chuck it in. But we want to be fancy today. So we're gonna use our pestle and mortar. There we go. Pop it in. Remember guys, we don't want to burn these beautiful flowers. That's why we're using the Bain Marie. And we're going to leave them to infuse with the heat for half an hour.
been simmering and infusing for 30 minutes. It's time to strain our bunt salve. So, pick out our salve from your bain marie. Bring it over to your strainer. Pop that in. Now, give that a good squish. Let's squish out all that goodness from the daisies. And of course the optional lavender. And this will make our beautiful daisy salve. Really good for aches and pains and strains and it really helps to heal up bruises. Once upon a time daisy was known as bruise wart because in the medieval days they used to make this concoction and put it on their on their wounds after battles and broken bones and farmers in the countryside make this and they put it on their lower back after a long day's work. Here we go guys. Pour yourself into your container of choice. We like using these little glass jars. Oh it smells amazing. Mmm, lavendery. So I'm going to fill up this one. I'm going to keep this one in the house. Okay. And the other two in my bag. I'm going to pop them on the plate and to speed up the setting process, we're just going to pop them in the fridge for about an hour. And they'll be ready to use. And there it is. Ta-da! Daisy, daisy, bump, bump. A native Arnica. So good for when you have a little bruise or a little bump. Yeah, it helps reduce that swelling and pain. You can put it on your bruises if you bruise like a peach, like my mum. <laughs> <laughs> or we put it on the toddler because he's bashing around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great to have in your handbag. It's a really good one for um, the kids. They, they love it. They love a bit of Daisy Bump Balm. Yeah, it helps look after you. Heal you up. Bruise walk. And you can use normal daisies to make it, or you can use oxide daisies too. Yes, oxide daisies. They're really fun. Very tall and Big, they grow yeah. meadows. Giant daisies. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, as always, any comments below yeah. if you don't know how to make it or you have any questions, let us know. We're happy to answer them. Yeah, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. If you're interested, join our Patreon and we'll see you all next time.